And we should be cool with that. I don't care anything about smoking weed. I don't care anything about drinking beer. Those things don't mean nothing to me. I'm here. And I tried to qualify. In fact, did qualify to belong to the nation of Islam because I wanted what was best in the best interest of our people. And even though I'm not in that part of the house, that's still what I want. I'm not using, oh, I couldn't get along with Farrakhan, or I can't get along with so-and-so in this organization, Give, using that as an excuse to do drugs, to drink, and go right back to the foolishness that I came from up out of. I don't need Farrakhan. I don't need even Elijah Muhammad to stand up and fight for us as a people. Because I know that's what I want in my heart. And that's what you should want. You should not allow no person, nobody, when you know in your heart, this is you should allow nobody to run you away from this struggle called black revolution. Nobody, you should allow nobody to run you away from black power. I was in the nation of Islam. And I have been on YouTube for a little while. There have been forces on YouTube that come against this ministry to destroy and silence my voice. But they were unsuccessful because in the Quran, because see y'all, see here I am, I'm, I'm, I'm somebody that you might call an atheist. I'm a realist, not an atheist. But in the Quran, it says that you plan, but Allah also plans, and Allah is the best of planners. So you have all these people out trying to destroy the reality's temple, trying to take my name, make mockery of me. But as you dig a ditch for me, dig a grave for me, you might find use of that grave yourself. So the end result is I filed a lawsuit and right now till this day not one faceless troll has come to say nothing. Because now they feel foolish. As, uh, as you plan, Allah plans. As the wicked plan, Allah plans. And Allah is the best of planners. Y'all really don't believe that. So you go back right back to the world of the wicked. And you stop working for this cause. Don't you know that your God knows your heart? You should not allow nobody to keep you away from the struggle. So many of you have talent. So many of you have wisdom and knowledge and understanding that you need to be out here sharing with the world. There are from 40, 70 million or more black people in this country. They need to hear this word, the words that come from up out of black conscience, this wisdom that comes from up out of what you call black power, they need to see the organizing of a black revolution to inspire them to begin to embrace their potential. So not only a few people can be great, but we as a people can be great. If you want to be part of the Nation of Islam, if you, if you want to be part of the NAACP, if you want to work with the Realities Temple, then you should not allow nothing to keep you from that goal. Qualify yourself and do the work. And do what's asked of you. And if you can't do it Farrakhan's way, if you can't do it my way for some reason, if you can't do it, if you can't do it, the way of the new Black Panther Party, then you don't leave the revolution. You don't leave. Stop being conscious. You continue to do the work in the best manner that you can. 
you continue to awaken the minds of the people so that they and we can become great. But when you sit around and use, well, I can't work with Talik. I can't work with Farrakhan. I can't work with Jesse Jackson. I can't work with so-and-so make me sick. You use this as an excuse so you can smoke your weed, drink your beer, eat your poke. So you can whore around and make babies that you don't take care of. You using that as an excuse. <laughs> There's a day of reckoning coming. Great punishment is coming to those because we know who you are. May Allah have mercy on your soul. Because, see, you know better, but don't want to do better. Lazy and cowardly. Excuse makers. Don't be like that. This is the time. This is the place. How are you going to leave this world? You gonna leave this world being known as a drunk, as the white man's bitch, a dope fiend, a whole prostitute, all these different things. When you have an opportunity to stay in this struggle and help uplift your people to become the greatest people that have ever existed on this planet, because we are the only people with the capability to break. The grip of what we call pink supremacy or white supremacy. The greatest sickness that have ever plagued the human being. Oh man, come on now. You are better. And at one time, that's where your heart was. That's why you wanted to work with me. That's why you wanted to work with Farrakhan. That's why you wanted to work with Jesse. That's why you wanted to be part of this struggle. You don't need personality. You don't need some, some celebrity to continue this fight. So all of us who are ex-Muslims, all of us who are ex-Panther, wherever you are, wherever ex you are, don't exit. Stay in this struggle. Do what you can. Make your video. Help somebody. Help somebody in the street. Pass the DVDs and the tapes or whatever it is. Give the people knowledge. This struggle needs your help. Your people need your help. And you want to help. It's in your heart. Be part of something. This is the greatest something that will ever happen in, in, the, in the life history of the human being. Be part of something, of the greatest change. Be part of it. Maybe future generations might not know your name. But whenever they say, man, if it was not for them, we would not be where we are today. That would include you. And the reason why they exist is because of your sacrifice, your work, and your heart. Because this is what you always wanted. You wanted what is best for our people. You wanted to see our potential. You wanted to see our greatness. And oops, there it is. There it is. And don't be sad, because Brother Martin Luther King was not sad. Brother Martin Luther King said, look, I might not get there with you, but you're going to the mountaintop. Help me. Help all of us who are out here fighting and struggling, trying to get our people into a better position up the mountain." You have so much talent. You know so, so much. Stop thinking little of yourself. 
Let us stop and fight the laziness that's in us. Let us begin to reject the drugs and the alcohol and all these things of this world. To hell with this crap. You really don't want it. If we start doing the work, we get high when we do the work and have success and begin to build and begin to mow and begin to see the change in the people. So then when we pass this life, we can go to our second place, wherever that might be, knowing that our children and our people, they, are, they have been sent in the right direction. They're going on to do big things. In fact, they are the catalyst and they will be the example of the whole world of humanity. That is their potential. That is their destiny. A destiny by who? Destiny because that's what we want. We form that destiny. Right now we suffer because we allow other people to determine our destiny. And they don't want what is good for us. They don't want to see us at our higher potential. They always want to see us down so they can have somebody to make fun of. Somebody who they can exploit and leech off of. Those days are over. And I know you don't want that for our people no longer. The buck stops here. Don't give up the fight. Because you can't get along with so-and-so. You don't like so-and-so. This is not about Farrakhan. This is not about Jesse. This is not about even those who are in the past, this is about what we want as a people. Because now your mind has become awakened. And now you know. And being, and we know that we are the fathers and mothers of future generations. And you should want them to have better than what we have. And above all, you do it because you love yourself I love those who are called black people I love those who are the descendants of slaves born in America you have and I have suffered enough it is now time that we get some of the heaven that others have gotten from our blood sweat and tears I hope that you understand where I'm coming from in this short talk. If not, jot down your comments, send me a PM, let us talk about it, but I'm pretty sure that you understand, and I hope that I inspired many of us who are X something. Just because you're an X don't mean you should lead this battle. You are a good soldier then, you're a good soldier now. Come on back to the forefront. Come back on the battlefield. And let us bang on this beast together. And get this vicious devil off our people's back once and for all. Thank you for listening. This is your brother Taliki Mira, The mighty, mighty angel snub number seven. This was and is the Realities Temple on Earth.